Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this tutorial, I am going to show you about how to perform a simple prediction about house analysis. So I have a real time house data. Using this data, I am going to predict which house is the better house for me. Okay. So the main theme of the prediction is all must want to have a big house with less price. This is the prediction. It will clearly tell you a suitable host for you. Using this data, we are going to start the linear regression. Before getting to tutorials, please subscribe our channel and join one of the fastest growing programming community in YouTube. Okay, so let's start our tutorials. So before getting to tutorials, you need to know about linear regression so i already make a video about the linear regression so you will check it okay so first we need to import the three libraries here first library is numpy library okay import numpy here we are using numpy library numpy library is used for linear regression okay okay first one is for linear regression because uh, we are using the linear regression to perform this analysis okay second one is for pandas you should you should to read the our csv files and third one is for visualization our result okay so after importing three libraries we need to read the csv file okay so data set equal to So this is my CSV file. Using this CSV file, we are going to predict our houses. Okay. And third one, it's a main step. Space equal to data set. So here I am giving the two categories. Okay. The first category is square feet living and second category is price so using these two categories we are going to start our prediction in the linear regression we need two categories okay that is x and y so here i am considered this square feet living as a x and price as y okay using this two categories we are going to start our prediction and then we are going to declare a variable here Okay, here I am initiating the variable, okay, x and y, and using this variable, we are taking our values into an array formation. So it is easy for to analyze the result, and it will tell the exact prediction about which rows is the better rows for us. Okay, so so after that, we are going to split the data into a four different points. Okay, why we are splitting the data sets means so it is easy for to produce more accurate results okay when we have bulge of data we cannot find a more accurate result so we are splitting the data into four different parts okay two is for training and two is for testing okay so before we need to split we must know what is mean by see what is mean by training and testing okay so i am given an example what is mean by training and testing okay so it is one of the main part when you are going to a data science interviews, they must ask what is meant by testing and training. Okay, both look very similar, but you need to but you need to analyze what is the key difference between them. Okay, so consider this image. We have a data of hundred houses. We divide this data into two parts. Okay, so the data of seventy five houses is for training purpose, and data of twenty five houses is for testing purpose okay the data set aside for training purposes it called as training data and data set aside for testing purposes testing the data okay remember the both sets came from the same data source house data csv that we included okay first we need to create a model for this prediction 
So using the training data, we are going to create a model. Our training data is 75 houses. Okay. So using the 75 houses, we are going to create a model for this prediction. Okay. And remember one thing, the testing data is hidden from the model. We cannot include the testing data into a training data for creating model. Okay. Once the training is over, we expose the testing data into a model. Okay. Once the training is completed, once we created a model, we, we need to include the training data into that model. Okay. For predicting which is the best house for us. Okay. So you must understand first we need to create a model. So using the training data, we are going to create a model. Okay. After creating the model with the help of training data, we are going to include the testing data into that model for predicting which is the best house for us. So you must know the difference between two categories. Okay. So if the results of the model are expected, so if you get the expected result, then we know that our model is good model and not to train any other testing data. Okay. So this is the brief explanation of what is the key difference between training and testing. So remember this thing, we should know two things. Okay. What is memory testing? What is memory testing? And what is memory training? Okay. They most of the data science interviews they will ask these two questions. Okay. So be careful. After that, we are going to start our splitting process. So here I am using the SQLN model. After that, we are going to split in the data sets. Okay. I already mentioned uh, using the SKLN model, we are going to split in the data sets into four different parts. Okay. Two is for training and two is for testing. Okay. So you must know uh, what is meant by training and testing before run this code. Okay. So X is for training and Y is for training and X, X is for testing and Y is for testing. Okay. So using these variables, we are going to start our training and testing okay so okay after splitting the data into four parts we are going to train our model okay so i'm using the i'm using the package that is called as sklearn using the sklearn i'm going to import linear regression algorithm for training my two data sets okay so here i'm using the condition fit fit applies the algorithm that we mentioned okay here we mentioned linear regression algorithm so it it apply the linear regression algorithm on our training data here we are importing two training data x train and y train that we previously splitted okay so this line explains that we are going to create a model using linear regression algorithm with the help of two training data so this is the brief explanation of this line so after after completing our prediction we need to visualize our graph okay so okay here we are completing the visualization part okay so after i click in the run button it will shows only the training only the model that we created okay using the training data sets okay so click the run button graph okay so this is the graph that we wanted okay so consider this blue line okay the above points are best cases and the below points are worst cases okay the points which intersect the blue line is a suitable cases okay so this is the final outcome this graph shows the best houses for you based on space and money conditions okay the two conditions that we inserted in the program okay so you can change this conditions into a very various conditions okay once you check the csv file you will you will understand this region is the best region for selecting the houses okay so you can find the you can, so you can find the best houses based upon these points okay so 
this is the model i want to share with you so thanks for watching please subscribe our channel and uh, thank you